guys, Derek here. Okay, here it is, the uh, Elegoo Satin. Um, this is the one that I got in my in the second batch, which was released on the 6th of June um, this year, 2020. Um, what a year it's been. Um, this is the one with the 4K monochrome screen. It has a resolution, obviously, at uh, 3840 by 2400. The build volume is 192 mil by 120 by 200 high. It has a dual linear rail which obviously steadies the motion of it going up and down. On the back it also has, as you can see, an Ethernet port, which is here, and obviously the two fans for ventilation for the screen. The Ethernet port, um, the way I got it to work is you plug in a network cable from your router, router, uh, it picks up an IP address from the, your router and it uses and it uses a Chitu box to send the files after it's sliced and then it will ask you to if you want to print to it as well if you want it to print at the same time. It does have a USB port which is here on the side. I've decided to get myself a little nubby version on the side here. I've got myself a little nubby version of a scan disk USB so it doesn't protrude so much. Um, the files saved to that, it does have an internal memory. The internal memory is not that big but it allows you to um, have a backup of the firmware which obviously comes on the SD card that you get with the printer. Um, it, it, within T2 box it's got 8 times anti-aliasing for smoother prints. Um, overall size of the system with the cover it is uh, 280 this way by 240 coming to the back and then it's 100, uh, 450 tall. Uh, I'm talking in millimetres uh, which which obviously everyone should know. Um, the it weighs everything on it. It weighs about thirty pounds. I mean, it's not a light thing. It's built sturdy, which is a, obviously for the money it needs to be. Um, I've got a few notes underneath the screen, so uh, I'm just going to go through a couple of them. Um, if you want to see what came with this printer, you're going to need to go to my unboxing video, which I will have um, in somewhere up here, uh, which will show you everything I got with it. Now, I didn't receive a manual with it or the free FEP film that we should have been given. Uh, uh, the pros. It also has, uh, sorry, it also has a 3.5 touchscreen, inch touchscreen, which is, it's, it's monochrome colour? It's, yeah, it's monochrome colour, I think, or colourish. Um, which obviously you can see everything, there's plenty of videos out on YouTube at the moment about it. The pros is obviously the build volume itself, um, 100 and, 192 by 120 by 200 high um, it's it's about two to three times bigger than the Elegoo Mars which I have uh, the build plate itself comes with a sheet of uh, some sort of sandy sheet to it um, obviously everything sticks to this uh, I haven't had anything not stick to the build plate it's mostly been the supports, um, which I've changed now and uh, have rectified and got them working uh, perfectly. The cons, as of filming at this moment in time here in the UK, 
I have not received my free FET film from Elegoo. I did report it. Um, I'm hoping that should come through the post sometime. Uh, f at this moment in time, I found on eBay this, uh, which I will put the link in the description. This is a five, five sheets of FEP uh, for £22.13. That is free delivery as well. Uh, that saved me. Uh, one, when I was printing a few prints that I've got just down here, um, I noticed on the actual f f uh, vat itself it had uh, an indent and things just was not were starting to stick to it. So that's my wrap at the moment, uh, vat at the moment. This is with a, a new vat film that I've got, the FET film, uh, which works perfectly. Uh, so far I've had no issues since I've changed the FET. Uh, as I said, it would have been great if I had the FEP come with it, so I wouldn't have to wait to try and rush this video trying to get it out. I've done the prints uh, here, which I will have at the uh, end of the video, some close-ups uh, of what I've done. I've done the normal um, Rook, the Elegu Satin Rook, which obviously I'll put, like I said, uh, after the video, uh, I've done the tree frog. The tree frog came out perfect. Uh, the uh, T800 Terminator head that came out perfect. I've done a, a little little Marvin. Uh, obviously, that came out. But everything came out perfect. It's not worth me keep on repeating myself. It all came out perfect. And I even done a little tiny. Uh, Alien the Dragon, I think. I can't remember what it's called. But it's only the size of the Rook as well. So um, I've shrunk it down. I think it's only like uh, four, nearly five centimetres tall. So nearly 50 mil. Um, so I've shrunk it down. Um, this has been a beast of a printer. Um, I got it on the second batch. So it was $499 uh, dollars plus 100 for the shipping. So it was $599, dollars, which in the UK it worked out about 400 ish pounds ish, give or take. Um, I'm just blown away with this printer. Uh, this is my. Um, if. You've got the opportunity of getting one over a Mars, then do it. Um, if you're happy with the build volume of the Mars, then get the Mars. Um, but get the Mars Pro 2 with the 4K screen, I think. Get that one. Uh, that one would obviously be the same quality as this is doing. But, okay, sorry, had to get the door. Uh, just have a quick delivery. Um, so, overall, um, evaluation of this printer um, it's I got it in October um, June July August September October so four five months I had to wait for it I don't like paying for something and then waiting for the goods to turn up I'm being fairly lucky due to the fact that I've heard other people have issues with their printers um, like dents and stuff this came very good packaged uh, obviously check my other video on the unboxing been absolutely perfect would I recommend it of course I would um, if I mean no disrespect but if I had the money I'd, have, I'd get one of those phenom one printers um, and I'd more likely recommend that as well the the thing with this is there's hardly any pro uh, post processing of the prints they just if you have um, any little tiny bits and pieces on it, all you do is just give it a quick sand and it's gone. Um, it's that simple. I mean, majority of the prints, I mean, the, the frog didn't need anything. You'll see by the, by the quality after. They came out absolutely stunning. 
um, no issues whatsoever. But I will also say, because of the bigger vat, it takes up more resin. Uh, obviously, um, it's a given. Um, but yeah, if you're going to get one, get one. All right. Uh, if you do like the video, please like it. If you don't dislike it, let me know why. Um, sub to my channel. Uh, it's growing. Um, I'd like, you know, if, if, if you like sub, that'd be great if you can. It doesn't cost you anything. Just click the, the button. I think it'll be down there or down there. I can't remember where it is. But hit the sub button. I mean, majority of my people who watch my videos, they're not subs. But sub, and it helps me out. It helps the channel. Um, hopefully I can get I can get growing it and hopefully I can get some more resin to do some testing and some prints with it I'm also I've just finished off doing a fairly large print with the Elegoo satin um, I'm in the process processing where I need to obviously paint it and everything but uh, if you add me on my Facebook which I will leave down below uh, on uh, Twitter uh, which I'll leave down below. I'll also be posting pictures of it when it's all done, but it's going to look amazing. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you've stayed with me all the way through this long, I'm so sorry it's taken ages. Um, but I'm hoping to get more products out, uh, more videos out about this printer, um, the initial setup, uh, how it was for me, the the fans. Obviously, there's a way of turning the fans off so you don't have to worry about the fans. The lifting turbo mode, um, I'll be doing a video as well about that. And yeah, if you, like I said, like, subscribe, share and be yourselves. See you later. Bye.